Hello everyone, my name is Mayur Gohil. Welcome to the video lecture series of Laplace Transform. In this Laplace Transform video, I will be helping you with Laplace Transforms of Integrals. Now the statement is given in this manner and it says if you have Laplace of f of t as phi of s, then Laplace of integral 0 to t f of u du is given by phi of s upon s. There is a general version to this statement that says if there are these n integrals over here and if you take Laplace of these n integrals operated over this particular function then the net effect is 1 upon s to the power n phi of s. Try to see it. It's very easy. It's very simple version of statement. Okay. Now using all these effects that we have seen so far for shifting theorem scaling property and then we have also seen multiplication effect this integral effect okay so i will be trying to find laplace of error function of root t we have already seen what is the definition of error function of root t uh, uh, or i have shown you the definition of error function of t as well as I have mentioned that you have to replace t by root t for the definition so here it was t then you replace it by t over here if it is root t you replace it by root t so now the definition of error function of root t is 2 upon root pi integral 0 to root t e to the power minus u square du okay i am now going to change the format of this function the way it looks okay so by using our change of variable method I get u square is equals to m then u is equals to root m also what I happen to get is du is equals to dm upon 2 root m as well as since the variable is changed then I am supposed to take care of the limits so limits would be when u is equals to 0 m is 0 as and when u is equals to root t m is t that is what you when you substitute you would get it over here okay so my entire function is now looking in this manner and then i can cancel this to substitute these values that you have obtained here here and it would look like this cancel this to and then m this root m has to be kept inside the integration sign because dm m is the variable under integration so i can write it in the numerator in this manner okay m to the power minus half so i have entirely changed the way my function was defined error function of root t now it looks by the change of variable in this manner okay so in order to find the laplace of this function i am not going to go by the uh, traditional definition method what i am trying to do now is i am going to find the laplace of m to the power minus half what does it have here it is same as the laplace of t to the power minus half okay it would be gamma half a uh, minus half plus one divided by s to the power minus half plus one and the final answer to this is root pi upon root s okay also now it is telling me to do e to the power minus m so if I do that, it is asking me to take care of first shifting theorem. Now remember that I am multiplying e to the power minus m on the left hand side over here. So immediately on the right hand side, I am supposed to write the effect of first shifting theorem. So that means I should do root of pi divided by root of s plus 1 immediately. This is due to first shifting theorem. The next thing what it is asking is to take care of the integral 0 to t. Now integral 0 to t when I do on the immediately on the right hand side I am supposed to take care of the integration effect that I just mentioned in my previous slide. It was multiplying the Laplace by 1 upon s. So I have multiplied it by 1 upon s over here in the okay. So after this what it is asking me to multiply is 1 upon root pi so i multiply 1 upon root pi on both the sides why because this 1 upon root pi is a scalar so scalar is allowed to be multiplied but not such effect of integral or a function okay so you have to be careful with all these terms 
and now when I multiply here 1 by root pi on RHS, I happen to see that this root pi gets cancelled and I am only left out with 1 upon s times s uh, square root of s plus 1. So finally what do I have is my, if I see here, this entire term on the left hand side is nothing but the error function of root t. If you observe it, it is an error function of root t. So just by using first shifting theorem and the basic properties, we have been able to derive the answer. So finally what do I have here is error function, Laplace of error function of root t is 1 upon s times square root of s plus 1 and we are done. So now let us try to find Laplace of error function complementary root t. Okay. So the definition had it was 1 minus error function of root t. So you take that. Now we know that Laplace operator is linear. So take the Laplace of each of the term, simplify it solve it a little bit with some simplifications of algebra and you get your final answer as 1 upon square root of s plus 1 times square root of s plus 1 plus 1. Oh, it's a big term. You can easily derive it if you don't want to remember it. Otherwise, it's still easy to remember. But if you feel it's difficult, you can derive it. You can remember this. So finally, you have two new formulas to be added to your formula list. That is Laplace of error function of root t is 1 upon s times square root of s plus 1 and complementary error function of root t is given by this formula 1 upon square root of s plus 1 times square root of s plus 1 plus 1. Okay, and so to this you can now practice some problems that I have given here. They are quite simple. They are based on all the exercises that we have seen, all the videos that you have seen and you can practice using all of the problems and they are easy to tackle with. This function is also we have just dealt right now and I hope it is easy for you to solve and you can tackle. If you have any doubts related to these questions or any other, you can post it, you can comment it and I'll soon help you out on those. So till then, thank you.